Welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAV and My LC. Well, we're back in my kitchen, all adorned in pink. Absolutely. I love it. I know I love it. it. It's awesome. <laughs> I have Vera Stewart with me, one of my favorite people in the entire world, because let me tell you, I learned so much from her, and I know you do too by watching the Very Vera Show. Of on course WSAV. they are. Absolutely. Well, today we're talking about something that we can do unique and special for a loved one, no matter what time of year it is. I mean, it could be Mother's Day. It could be a birthday. You could have a kid off in college. What is something unique and special that we can do for someone that's different as opposed to just going to the store and getting them a gift card or buying them that new purse or that new toolbox? What's something that we can do? Well, you know, you mentioned college, that child away that's college. And actually, this whole idea came to me, Natalie, when my older son was at Georgia and he called home, you get that call, Mom, have I told you how pretty you are lately? And you're thinking, oh, brother, here it comes. He needs money. And it was, it was close to an occasion that he wanted to take his girlfriend out to dinner. So, of course, he needed extra money to do that. And I said, you are not doing that. You know how to set the table. You know how to decorate. You work with me in the catering business all these years. I'm going to put your dinner in a cooler and I'm shipping it to Athens, and you're going to have her over for dinner. Oh, he was well, going to spoil her. He Here was going to. And so he <laughs> calls me up, and he says, Mom, you need to be shipping casseroles and food because it arrived in perfect condition, and it was delicious. So it so, worked. Absolutely. I was already shipping cakes, but it had never occurred to me to ship a casserole until that day. So he actually helped me invent the gourmet to go side of my business that I had for so many years. So it truly is a great, you know, what a unique thing, what a wow factor. So what I wanted to do today was certainly suggest that as a gift idea. You know, you're going to cut down on your cost in terms of buying something that may never be used and then you're making something with your own hands and with your heart. It's a gift of love. So in, in recognizing how you want to do this, certainly the cost of shipping is based on the size of the box, how much the box weighs, and that sort of thing. You've had a great idea with the flattening of this because that is going to fit right down in there. Perfect no, for a college no problem. student because it's so, a one serving I mean, we thing. could get a dozen of those in this at, 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 with no problem. So the way that you ship it to make sure it arrives in good condition is most of the grocery stores sell dry ice. So you're going to just put the dry ice as the last thing that goes on there. Then this just fits down into another box. You probably would not be able to find one exactly this size, but one that's close enough that you can just pad with newspaper or whatever, as long oh, as there's have all kinds of stuff no you movement. That but that ships, for the most part, ground shipping to wherever you're going because that dry ice is going to last for two or three days that's in, this, exactly right. in this cooler. But, you know, th looking at the sorts of containers that would fit into this box. These are all things that you can pick up at the grocery store. So this lid looks real pretty. You know, you can put your label on it, you can put how much, but that's going to keep you from stacking a bunch of those in. So once you've made your chicken and wild rice or your chicken and dumplings or your lasagna in this, just cover it with foil. Then you're going to get that many more in there. And then if you want to include the lid that either has the recipe or the special note, think of me when you eat this tonight, these can all stack all up inside. So once they pull them out, they can put it on so and stick they, it in the and freezer. They, and it's ready, it's ready to go. Because I always make sure that I label everything and I put the date on it as right. well. Well, and you also double bagged it, Natalie, which is also a very good point, because through the process, you could puncture a hole in that. So double bagging it and getting the air out of it is good. And I'm bragging on Natalie today, you know. <laughs> because this is completely unrehearsed you know, at this it, moment. It is, because it's something that I do. And you know, you mentioned these, and I love the fact that you mentioned the foil, because with my daughter, I make like shepherd's pies and lasagnas in little containers yeah, like right. this, and I will put them in the foil. And she will, they'll be frozen, and she'll take it out, put it right in the oven, right. warm it up, and it's ready to go. Well, thanks so much, Vera, for uh, coming in with this great idea. You always keep us on top of everything, you know, here on the Southern Scene. I'm well, so happy to have you here. Thanks. Well, thanks for having me, and don't forget to watch the Very Vera Show.